Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today we are going to learn about how to simulate or how to interface a servo motor with that of Arduino Nano. The compiler which we are using is the online Vokvi compiler. So how we can do that? First of all, we need to write Vokvi in Google. And it will lead us to the online simulators page. So we will click on wokfi.com and here we got four of our microcontrollers. The first one is Juno, ESP32, PyPico and STM32. We can click on Arduino Juno and then it will lead us to five of our microcontrollers. That is a tiny Franzinio and Arduino Juno, Mega and Nano. So we will click on Nano. It can take a bit of time in open to open so so we can wait for a while. Okay now we got two of our windows. The right one is the circuit window and the left one is the programming window. And in circuit window we already have our Arduino Nano. So, we will go and we will take our servo motor. So, this is our servo motor and obviously servo motor has three pins. One is ground, VCC that is V positive and PWM that is pulse width modulated pin. Again, we need to go and we will take our VCC symbol because positive or VCC pin of the servo motor must be connected with that of VCC and we also need to take ground because ground pin of servo motor needs to be connected with that of ground symbol okay these two are actually the power pins and signal pin is our PWM so we will go and we will connect it with the Arduino pin number 5 so Arduino D5 or digital 5 pin is our signal pin for the servo. So the control signal will come on this digital pin 5 of Arduino Nano. We will go towards our coding now and we will write hash include hash include servo dot h. So this is our main file. We also need to go and we will search for servo, servo. So it is our library. So I have included. And all the functions related for the control of servo motor are inside this servo.h. So that is why we have imported this library here. After this has been done, we will write servo. This is the name of the main class and then we will write my servo. Now what is this? Servo my servo. Actually this is called as the object declaration or object formation means that if we want to if we want to make an object of that particular class we can just write the name of the library or class here and then we will write any variable name. So this thing will automatically becomes the object of that particular class. And why we are going to create it? Because we want to fetch certain functions, certain functions from this library. So we need this object. Okay. Uh, we will run it out so that uh, we can see that either we got any error or not. So it is running. So we have created our object. Now in wired setup, because wired setup just uh, run for one time, so usually it is for the initializations and okay and declarations. It is for initialization and declarations. Okay, so here we will write my servo dot attach 
my servo dot attach and here we will write 9 sorry 5 because dot attach is a is a function and it belongs to which class servo and uh, how we are going to okay fetch this out uh, with the help of this dot operator with the help of this dot operator and my servo is the object so this object helps us to fetch or like attach this pin number five with that of servo motor okay so now this is done and here in wire loop we will write int position int position is equal to zero now we have declared an object not not a perfectly an object we can say a variable okay obviously variables are object but here we will use the term variable and what sort of variable it is it is of integer data type and it can store any value like 0 1 or 2 or anything like that okay the decimal number so and we also need to write my servo dot write my servo dot write and we will write 100 okay that uh, my servo must be on 100 degrees so write function will send a signal so that our servo motor will like uh, rotate its knob to that of 100 degrees then we want a delay delay of one one second that is 1000 milliseconds and then we need to write my servo dot my servo dot write zero and then delay okay now we will run it out and we will see that either it used to work well or not now it is zero and it is 100 and it is 0, 0 and 100, 0 and 100, so sorry, 100 and 0, okay? So uh, initially it, it must be on like, uh, okay, so, okay, so we can write here 0 for 0 and then 100, okay? So, So this is zero, okay. And this is hundred, okay. Zero and hundred. So in this way, our servo motor used to work with that of PWM signal generated by the Arduino Nano. So hopefully you got the concept. So thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe.